Hi, it's my time to shine. I want to say hello to everyone. I know I've been out of commission for a little while. I wasn't really doing too many readings. Um, I had a lot that I was dealing with. Finally, I got some things in order, so I'm able to do some readings. I'm going to pick um, a certain couple signs out of every group, which is water signs, earth signs, Gemini, um, excuse me, well, air sign, which I'm going to do Gemini since I said it, and the fire signs. And post up because my audience presence been low. I guess because I haven't been on there. So people there just jump to other readers, which I don't have a problem with because I'm not going to stress myself out. But I ask the universe spirit guys to please guide me in the readings that I will be doing today. I also ask the universe to open my chakras, open my heart, open my um, mind. I also want to ask the universe to please take anything negative out of my life, no matter how you have to do it. I also want to ask the universe to bless me, bless me over this reading, to speak this reading accurately, efficiently, and quickly. In the universe, I will always trust. Amen. I'm starting out with the Capricorn sign, which everybody know that's my sign. Um... I'm starting out with Capricorns. Basically, number one, it's like easier to do and it's just quicker and it's just like a little bit more better to start off with my sign and my own energy. These readings is not going to be at a certain time because I decide not to do it that way because what I realize is that time is an illusion. So there's no need for me to put times and different stuff on my readings so with that being said i'm going to start with the capricorn i am using the witch's tarot um basically universe spirit guide holy angels please tell capricorns what they need to know what do Capricorns need to know? Universe. Whoop. They knew cards, so they're a little difficult. Okay. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels. Okay. You okay. All these come out. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Okay. Okay, so you was trying to flip. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Okay, too many cards. One card, please, universe. One card, please. Okay, my Capricorns, I need a second. The first card you have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords basically is feeling like you're in a bound up situation. Or basically you could take this card as somebody that could be somewhere where they can't move. They can't see too much. They feel restraint. This could also be your energy, but you could also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You had the Nine of Cups. All your emotions intact. You just sitting pretty as you see her hair. Everything is okay with your emotions. You could also be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You also have the Magician. The Magician basically have all the tools to make something happen. And maybe in your past position, this was you, the Magician. You was making shit happen. In your present, you have the Judgment. 
The judgment is a card that everybody is judged accordingly at their time that everybody's going to be judged. And they all going to be have to be judged by the father or some type of angel or spiritual guys at the end of your time. Judgment in this position is a good card. You also had a nine of pentacles, which is somebody that, you know, got everything together. They all they doing is just planting and building more pentacles. Basically, they just, you know, basically in this card, as you see this woman, because these cards is new to me too, is like she just making shit grow she making her money grow so she's in the good spirits also you got the strength card you could be dealing with a leo or you may not have but basically you need some type of strength in the situation <clears throat> this your present energy you also got the seven of swords the seven of swords represent trying to get away with something or a half victory in some type of situation in your pre past i'm sorry you had a five of cups this is your future um, you, you may could have lost something or lost someone and you looking back at your past, but not seeing the two cups that stand in there. Cups represent emotions. You could be dealing with a cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. You also got the King of Pentacles. Somebody's king and this is also your energy. Somebody sitting with the crown and everything and they just king it. I'm going to do some clarifying here because your reading is a little deep. So we're going to go ahead and see why the Eight of Swords here. Universe, Spirit, guys, Holy Angels, please tell Capricorns. Too many cards. Please tell Capricorn. Okay. All right. Universe, Spirit, guy, Holy Angels, please clarify. Okay. All right. The three cards that came out when I want to clarify the Eight of Swords for you guys is you got the knight of pentacles somebody want to offer you something but it's something real light you could be dealing with a taurus capricorn or your sign a virgo you also got the ten of swords saying everything is fine and this one you usually had a ten of swords you know but you see she's still on her phone so i'm not gonna say that this was a painful ending she may have some type of evidence of who stabbed her in her back or on her side. You feel what I'm saying? Because she got her phone in her hand. So she may took this picture of whoever trying to end it something. But it's saying everything is okay. So you may came out of some energy where somebody stabbed you. The Ten of Swords is a painful ending. Even though it was an ending is something, it was okay. Swords represent truth. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But... You may not, but with that, you got the star. Everything you wished for or hoped for was coming true in that situation. So everything was okay. We're going to clarify why this judgment is here. Oh, they're just coming out. You got the two of pentacles reverse. You got the ace of pentacles reverse. I know what I'm looking for that I haven't seen. Excuse me, is my clarifier book. Oh, okay. I really don't do I really don't get too many reversals in Capricorn like this, but when they reverse, so I need to I like to read upon why is reverse to make sure I'm accurate. So give me a second. Uh yeah, you got the two of pentacles reversed and the ace of pentacles reversed. That's like, that's a little deep. So, I'm going to tell you why they reversed in a second. Ace of Pentacles.
Well, basically, they're not doing... They're not doing that in reversals at all for the witch's tarot. Okay, well, since they're not doing reversals, the witch's tarot is a tarot that really don't do reversals unless you're doing it. I want to just say that you got the two of pentacles the proper way, whereas though you're trying to juggle a situation and you may, you're able to maintain your balance, but you're juggling. You also got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift from the universe, a new beginning, and some type of money it could be. And then you got the Page of Cups. Somebody want to offer you something, but it's like a page of a new beginning or a slippery fish type of person. It's not nothing major, but they trying to offer you something. And then you had the Six of Pentacles, again, trying to juggle out a situation trying to stay balanced making sure everybody getting something you feel what i'm saying but you're trying to maintain balance so that's what it's saying far is the judgment i'm going to go ahead and clarify why this strength card is here in your present universe spirit guide holy angels please tell the capricorns there's too many cards please, one card universe please tell the capricorns what they need to know okay you got the seven of cups there's some type of confusion could be going on around you there's some choices that you have to make at the same time your emotions in check you could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces but it's some type of confusion and choice that you have to make we want to see why is the seven of cups here universe spirit guide holy angels please tell capricorns why the seven of the cups here why is the seven of cups here You got the will. Good luck is on your side. The will of fortune. So whatever choice you got to make is. It's going to be a good. Damn. A good choice. Clarify. Hey, when they pop up. Which, this is all your energy at the same time. You got the eight of pentacles. So whatever choice you make, you focus in the building your pinnacles up. That's all you focus on right now is all your money. As you can see in the picture, she just focusing on all her pinnacles, bottom line. She not focusing on nothing else but her pinnacles right now. Even on the computer, it's always something about money. For Capricorn, this would be my energy. But you also got the nine of swords. There's some anxiety, exhaustion, nightmares in a situation maybe about a choice that you have to make because you cut through the bullshit with the truth of the matter because you're going straight to the king of swords which is the truth of a matter so some type of truth some type of situation you're going to have to uh, make a, a choice and something is what i'm really seeing for right now it's some type of choice my capricorn's got to make i'm gonna clarify the seven of swords oh they just coming out you got the lovers, I told you, Capricorns, which is me. There's a choice that we have to make in this situation. It might not have to do with a lover, but in this situation, I'm thinking so. There's a choice you got to make. Clarify by the Queen of Cups. You want to offer somebody a cup or something. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could have a choice between a Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And for me, it's crazy because I got stuff going on with a Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus. So, it's a decision that you have to make. I didn't even think I was going to have some shit like this going on. But, at the end of the day, I do. Universe, Spirit Guide, Holy Angels, you're not falling again. I wanted to clarify this Five of Cups. You got the Six of Swords. You want to leave the past behind and move forward to calmer waters. And that's what you about to do is a choice. You about to leave somebody behind. Clarify by the five of swords. I have victory in the situation. The seven of swords is basically when somebody trying to get away with something. And thinking nobody seen them. And it might have to do with a lover situation. Or it could be you trying to get away with something. That's what I'm seeing. So this is a half victory in something. And people turning their back, they just giving up. 
But you basically moving forward in a situation. You're not even going to deal with this that long. Because you got a situation and you want to leave people behind. And they're not going to like that. Universe, spirit God, holy angels, please tell me why the king of pentacles is here. You came out with the ten of wands. You're going to have a lot on your plate. Because of a decision you got to make. Please clarify the ten of wands. Why is the ten of wands here? Okay. You got the fool. You want to take a chance in something. You taking a chance. And then you got the ace of cups. This is a new beginning. Everything running over. This is your emotions to check. This come from the universe. So that chance you're going to take is going to make you get straight to happiness. But you're going to leave some. You're going to have a lot on your plate because it's a decision that you got to make. And you're going to take a chance and leave somebody. But you're going to get everything that you want. You got to leave the past behind. And once you do, you're going to go straight to happiness. That's what it's saying. You got a big choice to make. You might have manifested this situation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go see what um, the spirit guys got have to offer you. See what he might want to say. What, what do the universe got say for you? These is my, um, my angel tarots. So we're going to see what the universe may have to say. Universe, spirit guy, holy angels. Okay, two came out. We're going to take them three. The first card you got is victory. So you're going to get victory over this. Your prayers have been had, have been heard and answered. Have faith. You got to have faith in the situation. Whatever's going on here, you manifest it. And it's telling you to have faith over top of it. The next one you have, have is patience. It's telling you that you're going to have to have patience over this bullshit here. It says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and plate patience. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever's going on, it's going to take some time. And then you got brilliant idea. Whatever you're thinking about. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruitation. So that's what it said. It's telling you that. So I'm going to go ahead and see what the universe is going to have to say. These is my one word card about whatever's going on here because you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have a lot of choices, but it's going to narrow down to only a few. You're going to make a choice. Whatever choice you make, it's going to take you straight to happiness. So you're going to have to figure it out. Universe, spirit, guy, holy angels, grief. Maybe somebody going to be going through a grief process or maybe perhaps you have been. Or somebody going to have grief once you make this decision. I'm going to clarify grief for you and I'm going to use my basic tarot cards. And tell you what's going on about grief. Because you do got the cards for lost in here. A lost like a lost, lost of a person. I definitely seen that in this reading with the judgment, which is the five of cups. So we're going to see what loss is going on. Universe, spirit guy, holy angels. Okay. Knight of cups. The knight of cups. Somebody want to offer you something. Cup of emotion. This is the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then you got Eight of Cups, where you're leaving the past behind and you go going to a feastable event. So somebody might have some type of grief because the situation. Maybe you're leaving somebody. You could be also dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So I'm not really sure who you could be dealing with with this. But something you about to leave is about to give somebody some type of grief. But you are going, you're going to take a chance. It's going to be a lot on your shoulder with this, this decision. But you straight kinging to the pinnacle. You kinging and the universe is giving you an ace of cups, his blessings. So whatever you're doing, it's not, it's not, I'm not saying that is wrong. I'm going to see what the universe guys say about you. Universe, spirit guides, please tell Capricorn what they need to know. What do Capricorn need to know for their general read? Universe, whoop, 
recovery. Recovery. Maybe you're recovering over maybe a loss in your in your in your life. Which would mean it could be it could be a loss and you recovering. Or maybe you recovering over the whole situation of something in your love situation. That's what came out. It just said recover. So I'm gonna go to the angel answers, which these is the cards that I've been waiting for, and I wanna see, you know, maybe what the universe may have to say to you you know about this reading that's all i can do but it's a choice and you're trying to stay balanced but it's a choice that you're going to have to make that's going to be the destiny of your life universe spirit guys holy angel what do you have to okay wow it says, big, happy changes, Capricorn. Straight like that. This is from my angels. This is the answers. When I want to know what's going on for Capricorn, it said you got big, happy changes on the horizon. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the book up for this. Just because I want to open the book up for it. I want to see what the book's saying, big happy changes. Even though basically I know what it say, mean, but big happy changes. Uh, that's going to be on page 23. We're going to go right there. Big happy changes. Big positive changes are coming into your life, Capricorn. You may find yourself on a new career path, entering a new relationship or moving to a new home or city. Embrace these exciting events, knowing that your angels will be beside you all the way. What you are asking about may require you to take leaps of faith that seem frightening or beyond your ability. Trust that the opportunities before you are meant to bring you happiness. These options will not have presented themselves unless you was ready for them. Release your fears and follow your heart. So with that being said, I'm going to end your reading on that note. Basically, it's telling you, you got big happy changes on the way. And we already know that because the universe is giving you his blessings. You may have a lot on your back because of the choices that you're about to make. But you want to take a chance. And you're going to be kinging in your pinnacles. And the universe is going to give you the blessing. And you're going to have a lot of big happy changes. So I wish all the best for my Capricorns. Um, Capricorn rising, moon, sun, Jupiter, Saturn. Um, and I wish everybody a happy and safe summer.